Hi, my name is Logan McCoy and I'm the Vice President of Services here at CCB Technology. In this session today, we're going to be focusing on security awareness training. Now, in recent years, this type of training has grown dramatically. And the reason for that is because attackers have figured out that the easiest way to get into your organization is through you and through your employees. They understand that they're going to have a much better chance of gaining the access that they want by going through you as compared to, say, your firewall. And this is why the main target in most cases now has become your email account. In fact, a recent study by Barracuda showed that 93% of breaches begin with some type of phishing attack. Again, 93%. Eight out of 10 organizations faced at least one kind of email breach potentially happening every single month. And I actually think that's low. I think that number is much higher. But then Barracuda also estimated that what this all amounts to, what they calculated in 2019, was that the total loss that organizations incurred because of business email compromise, and again, phishing attacks being the bulk of those, was $1.7 billion. $1.7 billion. So the reason why this training has rightly gained so much focus for organizations is because if your employees aren't properly trained on how to spot a fish or a spear phishing attack, then what they could potentially be giving away are the keys to the kingdom. Now, effective security awareness training usually contains three components, FIST simulation or testing, analytics, and then last but not least, end user training. And what we're going to spend the rest of our time looking at is how easy it is to set up a phishing campaign, analyze that campaign, and then train those users. The solution that we often utilize here and that we even utilize in-house is Before. They have over 39,000 organizations that have actually utilized their solution. But whether it's Before or any other solution, as you see what I'm going to go through, they all function in a very similar fashion. Now, as a final quick note before we dive into it here, what I'm showing you is actually our tenant at CCB. Now, what you're going to see in all of that is the tenant that's already fully set up and ready to go. If you were interested in doing this and wanted to start all of that, you're going to have to actually set up that tenant. And it's not too difficult to do, but if it's not something you're comfortable with doing, please feel free to reach out to us and we'd be happy to show you how to set that up. Now, diving into it right here, the first thing that we're going to go through is how easy it is to actually set up a fish simulation. Now, what you see on the screen right here is the main dashboard of our Before account. And right up here, you've got some nice little tabs for navigation of where we need to go to. Obviously, right here, phishing is what we're going to click on. Now, this gives me everything that I need to have and know in regards to setting up a fish campaign. That's what Know Before calls it. So right within here, you can see the varying campaigns that we've done in the past, the email templates that I can choose from. And what's great about these is that you can come right within here and you can modify these in any which way or fashion you want. So oftentimes what I'll do is take a template that the system has already created because there's thousands out there, and then I'll modify that in just a couple different ways so that I can make it a little bit more difficult for, for my employees. I then have different landing pages that I can create or pull off from templates and the same thing for, for domains. So once I've set my template and my page and my domain, I can come back here into campaigns and I can choose to create a new phishing campaign. Now right within here, I just name the campaign. I choose if I want it to go to all my users or just a specific group. And if I choose a specific group, then I can choose who that group is. And you can actually set that up here within users. I can choose the frequency at which I want this to go out. And in that case, if I want this to go out all at once, or if I want this to go out over a period of a number of days, and when I want that actually to begin. And then from there, how long I want to track that. Do I want to track it just for a day or for five days, whatever it might be. And right within here is typically where you can then just go and actually choose that template, right? Whether it's one that you've made and fully baked out yourself or just a simple template or a system template that you need to pull from right within there. And then all of this typically itself, the difficulty rating, the finish link domain, all of that essentially just auto populates. And right from there, I just go and I click create campaign. Now, once that campaign is kicked off, then what it pulls me into is the active campaign. You can go in here as well and see all your inactive campaigns from the past and see what your success rate or how people, how fish prone people were to actually click on that. But right within here on the active side, you can see I actually have one that's currently active and it was that DocuSign. Now that DocuSign one looked just a little bit like this here. I'll show you what that looked like. So a little bit enough misleading. You could very quickly see, though, that this probably wasn't coming from our HR director, Barb. But I did have a few people that actually clicked on that. I believe I had three failures, and that's how it identifies it here. 
Now, right within the users, I could click on that and it would identify for me who those three users were so that I could target for them, which you're going to see in a moment, to do some additional training for them. But you can see right within here what the overall fish prone is for this specific campaign, everything that it looked like, who it looked like it was coming from, where most of those failures happened, everything that I might need from an actual data and reporting perspective on this specific campaign. Now, if I wanted to drill out and actually look a little bit more at the overall campaigns, I could quickly just jump to reports right here. And this would show me overall how fish prone are people overall in our organization from the last campaign and how does that compare to the rest of the industry. And then again, right within here, I can see what was delivered and who failed to click on that. So again, that I could then use those analytics from that perspective to then go and actually do some effective training with those users as also provide some good resources for my management team and just good overall reporting and analytics for my executive team. Now, again, from an analytics side, I can compare that not just to what you see from a phishing perspective, but I could do that from a vishing, USB, and a number of different aspects as well. So that's really where you're able to then pull those analytics and use those and make those very effective within your organization. Now, last but not least, once you've run that campaign, once you've run the analytics and done all of that, you're going to want to train your users, right? Now, the ability to train your users exists right within here. Right within this training, just like I could go in and create a phishing campaign, I could also very easily go in and actually create a training campaign. And just within here, I could go and choose whatever system templates I might want. Now, whereas in the past where you would see that phishing where they had those templates and it's all within here, the actual templates are under the mod store right here. And I would just go into the mod store and pick whichever one I might actually want for that training. Now, what's great is that you have a, a really easy way to filter these down. So I actually, in this case, want to do a training module. And you can see it begin to filter it down. I want to do it on a specific type of solution if I wanted to do that, right? And then I could filter down even further just by a specific search. Now, in this case, I want to do this one from 2021 because this is a great starting point for these users who have just maybe done their first click where they've actually failed on that fish simulation. Now, here you can say it, see it says it's already been added because I've already added this to my queue. But if I hadn't added this to my queue or my library, I could simply click on add to library. And then when I come back into that training campaign, you can see when I've gone in and then created that training campaign listed right within here, I named that. I can do a specific date of when I want it to start and when I want it to end. I can choose the content, and this is where you would be pulling it from that mod store, and you'd be adding that right into here, which is what I've done right here. Now, what you can see is great is not just being able to do it from a specific group or for all users, but then I can then choose, once they've completed this training, does they, do they get added to a specific group? And what is that group? And then what does that move them into from that side of the house? So if they need additional training after that, they can. If they get moved into a secondary group or if they just get moved back out and unless they fail again, they get put into that new group Then essentially they have no more training to complete. But what's great is that you can track that training, you can see what their scores are, and then you can also set up notifications so that you actually receive a heads up when they've completed that training and whether or not they passed. And this is a great way for you to be able to manage that from an ongoing side. Now, oftentimes users will come in and they'll just do one-offs on the phishing and training campaigns. But in addition to be able to do these as a one-off, you can also do these on a monthly reoccurring basis. And it's extremely easy to set those up. Exact same thing from a training site. If you want to conduct and hold that reoccurring training, you can actually do that as well, all right within here. So hopefully what this very brief and short training has showed you is how easy it is to conduct a fish simulation, how easy it is to pull some of those quick analytics of who failed, how often, how prone is your organization overall as a whole, right? So that you can take that and use that. And then last but not least, you can actually then act upon it. And you can use the training and, uh, and uh, I would say documentation that's already included to be able to give your users a good understanding and awareness to help increase their ability to not be as uh, have a propensity to click on a potential phishing email. So with that, again, hope this was a very helpful and useful training. Have a great day.